hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video you're gonna ask what are we going to do what is this binder doing here and that's a very good question because if you watched my last video you may have seen that i currently have two binders one for juhan and who is my ultimate bias and the other one for all other groups i collect including monster x of course but I've recently noticed that this one binder was not enough, so we're gonna set up a new one just for Monster X because they are very, very special boys and they will keep releasing stuff, which I'm incredibly excited for. And at the same time, I'm gonna talk a bit about Monster X fan signs and video call fan signs, how they work today, because I'm sure a lot of you would like to try this time and I kind of confuse how this works because it is kind of confusing. So let's get started. I'm gonna take Monster X things first because at the same time I'm gonna kind of organize it because it's sort of random as you could have seen in my last video. And it should not be like that. It should be quite nice and tidy and it's really, really not. So let's get this out. So if you are interested in Monster X fan signs, I have a very bad news for you, and namely that you have to be on Twitter. I really dislike being on Twitter and don't like kind of things that are going on here, but as soon as the comeback season approaches, it's really good to be on there and kind of watch music stores and Monster X retweeting stuff about possible events. Ooh, looks much better. And as soon as you pre order stuff, there is the one store which is going to have fan sign which is announced earlier. In case of Fantasia, it was Music Korea, and in case of Fatal Love, it's Katon for you because Starship probably so they're gonna make more money this way. And according to which you can apply there, or which is a full group fan sign, or you can wait until the album comes out and other individual fan signs are announced. This is a very kind of widespread practice among the groups which have more members that they kind of divide them in units or separate members in different stores when they have fan signs. There we go. So here's just a quick interruption of my binder. Here's the cover with the beautiful postcard and on the inside I kind of decorated it with all the bluish purple freebies. I could have collected and this is obviously the mini poster from follow version 3 which is my favorite i kind of chose this color theme to be a contrary of my juhan binder which is kind of yellowy green and i think it looks quite nice what do you guys think yeah so when this individual fan size are announced you can apply for different members and if you go on this side of the store the fan sign is on you can then kind of tick the member you'd like to apply for and here is the other thing of that unfortunately each member is more or less popular than another one which causes the fact that for some members you have to buy shit ton of albums while for the other ones you actually don't have to buy that many and it's also the kind of disproportion of foreign and korean fans because in Japanese fans, in case of Monster X, the Japanese fans kind of take the stick all the time. So you have to kind of consider that. If you, for example, would like to apply for Kihian, it's gonna be kind of difficult because he's popular everywhere. But of course, it's, it is the question of luck. Like, you can't really ask me how many albums you have to buy because there's no clear answer. I've seen people getting in with 15 albums and I have seen people not getting in with 300. Some people say for Monster X the safe amount is 150, but it's not always this way. And I think it's really important to notice that you won't have like a 100% guarantee that you will get in, in fact. I'm not gonna tell you personally how much album I bought, but it was more than 150, but less than 300. That's really embarrassing, I know. But nevertheless, I had a lot of fun, so that's the most important. And in case you don't know which stores to look out for possible fan signs, you can always follow Starship staff on Twitter and they kind of share all of the events they announced kind of on the go. And there is this also this separate kind of tab in Fan Cafe, which is the schedule, I think. And in the schedule, they add individual fan signs and they also write what member is the fan sign for. Exactly. 
and according to that you can kind of choose what would you like to do and what store would you like to apply for and sometimes you don't really have a choice in case of monster x it was that i believe shonu minyok and hyongwon had a fan sign on music korea and then juhon kihyun and changyun had a fan sign on soundwave and this was the one i applied for so it's kind of you have you have to be online all the time and this is kind of the hardest thing because the fan signs are announced those which are announced after the album comes out you have like 24 hours to buy your albums and to kind of make the decision if you like to apply or if you don't want to apply which is not not a lot unfortunately and especially since it is kind of a lot of money a lot of people panic and kind of panic buy or many people don't try because they're scared Here's the kind of dumping grounds page. I'm gonna fill it out with white sleeves. Yeah, and if you apply for the fan sign and if you enter all of your personal information, you have to make clear if you're on the international page or if you're on the Korean page, so to speak. Because if you want to pay on the Korean side, you not always gonna be able to do so because sometimes you have to switch to the international one to be able to pay with your credit card or with PayPal or things like that. So it's another thing to kind of be cautious of because the Korean websites are kind of confusing <laughs> and it is a certain thing, especially when they announce the winners of the fan sign and you expect it to be on the main page, right? No, it's not. You kind of have to navigate inside inside a certain site so to speak in order to be able to notice what and when and what happened actually maybe we're gonna no never mind let's go with the kind of order i planned yeah so let's go to kind of my personal experience with most like fan sign I applied for the last fan sign because I was not on Twitter and I missed almost each and every single of them. And I've only heard about those announced on Monster X's Twitter, which were the full group ones. And of course it is the case. I did not apply to Juhan's fan sign because I don't like other members, because I would seriously do everything for them. It was rather because I knew there will be less people competing against me. And I think this is the case you have to think about because it's, a, it's your money, it's your time, and it's kind of your work you put into the certain event. And you have to clear how much you can give and not don't, don't spend too much money. If you think it will be kind of straining for your wallet, just don't do it. Because it's, it is an amazing experience, but your kind of life is more important, I would say. Yeah, so I chose the Soundwave event, it was the last one. In case of Soundwave, you can buy things of the Okvit site, it's their kind of international kind of thing they have. So you can check out as an international customer there. And you obviously tick off the member you'd like to apply for, then you write your Kakaotalk ID, it has to be correct, because otherwise they won't be able to add you into the kind of video call at all. So please make sure it is how it's supposed to be. And yeah, then you kind of wait until they announce the winners. And the winners were, I believe there were 30 people for member. Yes, it was. And there were four, four members. Yeah, I believe it was Changhyun, Juhon, Shonu and Minyok on the Soundway event. And only Changhyun's took place on another day. So it was like a week after. So all other three were at the same time, which was kind of, I believe, convenient for them, I believe. Yeah. And I was so stressed. I was, I was literally terrified. And I was not scared of the call itself. I was very scared of the cacao talk and the things that may go wrong with my internet connection and things that may potentially go wrong with with basically anything else. And I was really, really scared that I will fuck something up which is so important to me just by not knowing how to use my fucking phone. But luckily, nothing happened and it was really good. And of course there will be, I don't know what is caused by, but international fans tend to have kind of problems with connection, 
like it is not as good as it's supposed to be. I mean, we could understand each other and talk like clearly, but you could see there was like a second of delay and in sound and things like that. So that's also the thing you have to kind of keep in mind. Yeah, and on the day of the event, they send you a message via Kakao Talk and they ask you to reply on it so they can see you kind of confirm you're gonna take take part in the fan sign and then you just wait for your turn. I know K Town for you kind of warns you five minutes before that they're gonna call you soon, but soundly fucking didn't. And I was number eight on the list, so theoretically it should have taken me like a half an hour to wait for my turn, and it was like around 40 minutes. So there was short break between each person, I believe. Yeah, and it was like that, that when you pick up the phone, it's obviously the staff and they kind of keep the phone on hold for another two minutes without saying a single fucking word. I've watched some other video calls for other artists and the staff was kind of active and they, was, they were talking to you. But Soundwave didn't, they just kind of muted you. And I was like, holy shit, what am I supposed to do? But well, yeah. And after those two minutes, you are kind of connected with the person you're speaking to. And my call was supposed to last two minutes. It was two and a half minutes in the end because we're kind of talking in a full ass conversation. Yeah, so that was, that was really nice, I think. And I think that another thing you have to kind of consider while applying for fan signs is the kind of what language the idol you'd like to talk to is more comfortable in. Because the thing is, I do speak Korean, but it's a sort of last resort for me. So I do not feel confident at all speaking and I would speak it only if it was like the only way to communicate with someone. And Juhon speaks English really, really well and Seriously, I was, I knew he spoke English well, but not that, that well. He, he, we were actually like talking, like it was not question answer, but it was like a conversation. And it was really, really nice, I think. Yeah, and it was after two minutes, you just kind of hang up. I think you're supposed to be the one who hangs up, but you do you, I think. And then you're supposed to receive your albums after the call which you not always do because of the corona. It's like four months and I still haven't gotten mine because they can't ship it. But I hope I will kind of get them soon. I believe it would be very nice. Yeah, so the things you have to be prepared for is, as I've said, the internet connection and all of the things that can happen. Because you really do not have to be nervous of the person you're talking to because they will be nice to you. They have to be nice to you and they will do everything they can to make you feel comfortable during the call itself because they know you can be nervous and it's really not worth for you to kind of stutter and so on and waste your time so to speak so they really try to give you the opportunity to tell what you want to tell and i think it's really really good and nice of them i think i will insert some clips from my call here at the beginning of the video call but basically, yes, Juhan asked me where I'm from and I told him I'm, I'm in Germany right now and he spoke German to me and I was teaching him another German word and he was really excited to know it. So that was really cute. I mean, this call was kind of personal to me and kind of sentimental, so to speak. So I won't insert too much with sound, but yeah, I think it was it was a lot of a lot of fun and I'm really really grateful I had this experience and that I was able to talk to him because I thought actually that I can do anything but Monster X fan sign is like completely out of my reach. It's like I, I could do many things but it won't be a Monster X fan sign. So the kind of possibility of having this video call with him was really really important to me and it kind of really was a fun thing to do and a really good memory to have. Where are the follow cards? Have you guys seen my follow cards here? Where the fuck are they? Hello? Ha! He there! Okay, here we're gonna go with the Kino cards. Yeah. And if your video call is gonna be through Kakao Talk, 
you have to be reminded that Kakao Talk does not record sound, it only records kind of image in the video. So it's good to have like an external audio recorder to record the actual fucking audio. Yeah, so this is the most important thing and you can later edit it out together. I did not edit it together because I really do not like to have to listen to my voice and I would have to. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a bummer, but that's fine. I mean, it is the most important to kind of have this memory sort of with me. So here we go with this one. Maybe we're gonna put the the photo book there. Yeah, I think it's gonna be better. And in this case, because it's the first time I think Starship cooperates with, with K-Town for you, they also have this kind of extra event when you there are 12 people who can win signed albums, so that's kind of nice as well. And obviously a lot of people get pressed about it. Many people do group orders and the people who do group orders get into the fan signs because they buy more albums. And it is kind of upsetting that you see people getting five times into a fan sign because they just host a group order, but you can't do anything about it. So just don't be too angry about it, I think. Yeah, and I think the most important thing you have to remember of is that it's fun and it's supposed to be fun and you're supposed to have a great time. And because it is a memory that will kind of stay with you and this is the most important thing. So I think it is worth to take this risk, so to speak, of trying for a fan sign because you will end up with albums, but if you win, you're gonna end up with like a really great memory and kind of thing you can go back to and that can be really motivating and inspiring for you. So I think it's definitely worth it. Yes, as you can see, I kind of finished organizing my stuff. It is kind of half full, so I think it was a really good idea for me to put the most X photographs away in a new binder. And I'm gonna do a click flip through right now. If you're looking for a more in detail glimpse into my binders, check out my previous video because I described them everything kind of more in detail. Yeah, so starting here, we have the kind of binder page, we have the index page with Newton. Then we go. We are here. As I've said, the album, DVD and concert cards are in this section. They are kind of in chronological order, also I've tried to. Here we have follow. And as I've said, I put the Kino postcards here as well, finally, because I think they are, they are kind of pretty and I kind of like them here. Yep. Then we go to... Bro, it doesn't make any sense. Why did I put it here? It doesn't belong here. Yeah, so we're gonna have this one here. Then we have All About Love. We're gonna take it here because it's an album. If we want it or not. Shine forever. We have Fantasia. Yeah, only these cards, which are kind of random, are gonna stay here because I have no idea where else to put them. But yeah. Yay. What came out first? I kind of forget what order the albums were coming out in and that's kind of embarrassing so to speak. But here we have Fantasia. The Kino. The kind of weird ass standees. I do not have free pockets yet. And I'm kind of waiting until I won't be buying albums so I can buy free pockets because money. But it's not too bad. That's here. We're gonna go with All About Love here. That's very nice. Yep. And then we're gonna go here with Shine Forever. I know it comes first, but these are just stickers and they would not look nice on the first page. There we go. We have Seasons Greetings. I am kind of 
kind of, this is the so-called D-ring binder and I'm not used to having to kind of strain myself to flip through. But I think it looks nice. It looks professional, you can say. Here we go with photo books. Yeah, I think I like this order more because previously I've been organizing it kind of randomly and now it makes more sense. We have home party, membership. Yeah, this kind of random page of stickers and bookmarks because no one really needs them. And here's the random page. These are for sale and trade and I'm trying to get through it. Here is the last of the photo book. We're gonna take it out and put it where it belongs. Here we have two to gone collaborations. I have a lot of those cards. I actually haven't noticed until now. Here we go. The group cards and the Tony Molly things. Yep, here kind of this sticker got crooked, but yeah, deal with it. And the stickers for Tony Molly. Here at the back, I have some more freebies I put away, which are still kind of in the bluish theme. And here we put the last thing of the photo book. These are the pre-order cards. Yeah, and I think we're done. I'm gonna put all of these tips I was talking about, about the fan signs in the description or in the pinned comments so you can see it better. And yeah, that was all for me for today and see you in the next video.